the cold winter air nipped at my skin as I made my way through the empty streets of the city. My heart was heavy with fury and fear as I rushed towards the small apartment that my husband, Tae Young, and I called home. It had been three days since he had fallen ill, and I couldn't help but feel helpless as I watched him suffer. Tae Young was a notorious mafia leader, feared with many and respected by all. He was a man of few words, but his actions spoke louder than any words could. He had a reputation for being cold and ruthless, but to me, he was the most caring and loving husband anyone could ask for. As I walked into our apartment, I could hear Tiam coughing from the bedroom. I rushed to his side. His body was burning with fever and his breathing was labored. My heart broke as I watched him suffer and I knew that I had to do something to help him. For the next few days, I barely left his side. I cooked his favorite meals, made sure he took his medicine and stayed up with him all night to make sure he was comfortable. As I held his hand, I could feel his body slowly getting better and my heart filled with hope. Tayang was not an easy man to love, but I knew that I loved him more than anything in this world. As I looked at him, I knew that I would do anything to keep him safe and healthy even if it meant risking my own life for his. As the days passed, Tae Young's health slowly improved and he began to return to his old self. He looked at me with gratitude and love and I knew that all my efforts had not been in vain. In that moment, I realized that love was not about what you received in return, but about what you were willing to give.